do you prepare when you don't maybe know who the quarterback is and they might change their play call or how difficult does that make preparation? Yeah, I mean, I did. You kind of put it in the same category as like an opener, you know, first game. There's obviously some, some tendencies and kind of what the light plays and, you know, what, what stood out in regards to who the quarterback was. You know, and I've obviously got a head coach that's been on the before, so he's called players before. So there's some, some similarities in that way. But I, I, the, the simple answer is you kind of put it in that category, except the fact that you don't know as much as maybe you'd like to think you didn't know after, you know, after a few games. And, um, and then rule it out. That's one thing we talked about, guys, all the time. What's your rule? There's a rule for it. Whoever's the quarterback, he's going to be playing the guard spot, he's going to be the next receiver, whatever it is. There's a rule for it, so we just got to make sure we uh, uh, obviously hit the, uh, hit the play button to that rule. And, uh, you, wanted to, you wanted to work on the explosive plays over these last couple of weeks. Just what's gone into that and, and how's it looked out here? Yeah, I, I, I think it's one of those things that there's no you know w w one thing that, that eliminates. I mean, you can line everybody on the goal line and say that you know, 20 yards deep and say we kept it in front of us. Um, but that's not going to be a very competitive defense. Um, you know, the biggest thing is getting down to, to, to the why. So we, we, did, we broke it down by position. We broke it down by uh, player. We broke it down by call. It's a consistent aspect of things. And those are obviously things we handle in-house. And then, you know, making sure in those moments as you're watching it uh, on the practice field is, is, you know, making sure that, you know, is, is there a player, as we say, is there a player designed to be in that, in that position to make that play? You know, is there any capable of making that play? And is he making a, an informed coach decision that led to him maybe not being there? If not, then we, we got to analyze, and this kind of goes back to that, that expectation piece that we talked about. Is it an expectation error, a mental error, or is it just something that we don't have to check what we need? So all those things kind of go into it, and there's not uh, you know, one blank can answer. But uh, no, it's been, been a good, uh, I will say this, it's been uh, a, a good X number of days since the last time we played. And I think it's a pretty confident group on a Tuesday, which is, which is good. What did the Bible do for maybe some lingering injuries at inside linebacker? Yeah, I mean, obviously really good. And you never know when those things are going to, you know, come up. See, the injuries or the bye week and how it's going to time up. I think a kid like a Mason Cobb, you know, would, would, would obviously highlight. Uh, and then obviously there's nagging things through two weeks, you know. Um, and I've been fortunate that, that a lot of guys haven't necessarily played a full four quarters, which you never, you know, never promised that. So probably fairly healthy after three weeks. But as you mentioned, there's certain, you know, position groups, specifically a linebacker. So, no, I, I thought uh, we, we advantaged it and then uh, didn't, didn't have any new issues, which is a good thing. When you were talking to I do, yeah. When you were talking to Solomon through the through the transfer portal, what kind of stood out to you about the his personality? Certainly, he's, he has a unique situation because he's he's married, he has kids, he, yeah. he has different types of priorities than maybe some transfers you would be talking to. Yeah, I, I think, and 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 that kind of highlights. I think every transfer is, is is extremely unique. They all have different stories as to where they come from, you know, what what their motivations are. Uh, you know, I, I he was you know at. at Wyoming. Uh, I co coached at Wyoming uh, previously, so we had uh, some uh, some Laramie uh, conversations and that. So we hit it right off um, in our love for Laramie. But uh, um, just just a, a, a unique guy. It has been all business since he's been here, you know. And, and uh, um, no, but you talk about a guy with a family. And you talk about having children and stuff like that. Decisions he makes, you know, impact a whole lot more than. Uh, a lot of guys coming, obviously coming in out of high school at 18 years old and, and that. So, um, no, a mature voice, a mature guy. Uh, it's been a pleasure to have, and then, you know, he, he's reaping some of the benefits of, the, of, you know, playing so much football in the course of his career. You know, and, and, and that, that's uh, that's a major advantage when you think about some of those young guys that you say, oh man, they just just wait. You know, you know, he's a, I don't know, is he eight years into this thing, six years into this thing, uh, and he's reaping some of those benefits, and so I'm obviously thrilled to have. Him. Got you guys at like 55 different defensive line combinations through three games. Are you happy with that number? Is that like a sign of strength? Or is it something you're trying to trim down maybe as, as the season goes? Yeah, on? you hope so. I mean, guys got to earn those reps, you know, and, and and that's that's the number one. Is no one um, is just gifted, you know, a rep on the practice field and on uh, the game field. But certainly, as you as you look through anything defensively. And, and maybe some have other philosophies. But I think by and large, we, we uh, would be like most. But we, that, that's the position that's got to go to. You know, you're, you're asking 280-pound, 300-pound guys to, to go as fast as they possibly can every single rep and then a match for 300-pound offensive linemen over and over and over again. So you'd always like to have six to eight guys that you can rotate. And then what we never want to be is we don't want to be completely married to two guys playing next to each other. So, man, I really limit you. Um, and so that, that's that's a constant. Again, the, the message to all those guys: it doesn't need to be easy. Maybe 55 pounds. I didn't know that. Um, 
but but it may be that way. But that doesn't mean you know all, each, each guy's in the same amount of work. So um, in the end, we're just looking for for production and disruption in that. And um, you know, I, I obviously the weeks you get it, it has a major major impact. And so if it happens with, with multiple guys by, by committee, that, that's uh, probably a good thing, honestly. Did you, get, did you get any more extensive looks at players you maybe haven't seen during games in the Bible lesson? Yeah, we, we, we certainly did. I mean, there's some, some young guys that, one of the messages is some of the young guys, you know, it's so hard to um, quantify for maybe a freshman or a transfer or some of those things in terms of the fact of how quickly fall camp goes. It seems like it's, you say it's a month long, and, and obviously by days it is, but man, it goes quick. Um, and so whether it's on the special special teams field or, or in, in some other opportunities to kind of just go play ball, I mean, there's not an, an individual guy to highlight. But, but also through that, you know, having the, the advantage of having an early bye week is, you know, there's, there's not a bunch of All-Americans walking on the field either. And that's part of their communication too, you know, is, you know, making sure that we, we got to advantage that time for, for the, the ball for the answer, not just uh, some of those young guys. But, uh, uh, you know, believe me, and that, that's something that's always ongoing. You know, what, what this is uh, nine scheduled games in front of us starting this weekend, and so a lot, a lot still out there for, for everybody on the roster, even if the rules haven't been, been extensive yet. Thank you, Coach. All right.